Hello students, today we shall introduce ourselves to three dimensional geometry. Up till now we have learnt about two dimensional coordinate system. Because we live in a three dimensional coordinate system, we call this as three dimensional space. We introduce a coordinate system in three dimensional space by choosing three mutually perpendicular axes as the frame of reference. The orientation of the reference system will be right handed in the sense that if you stand at the origin with your right arm along the x axis, your left arm along the positive y axis and head will then point in the direction of positive z axis. In order to understand a three dimensional coordinate system, let us think of a room and take x axis and y axis as lying in the plane of the floor and z axis as the line perpendicular to the floor. We observe that the floor has two boundaries as x axis and y axis. So, we say that it is situated in xy plane. Similarly, front wall is in the yz plane and left wall is in xz plane. The xy, yz and zx planes are called coordinate planes. You can see on the monitor the three different planes here, xy plane and yz plane and the other one is xz plane. Now, let us understand how do we write down the coordinates of a point in space. As we have studied in two dimensional geometry that two mutually perpendicular lines divide the plane containing them into four parts which are known as quadrants and the lines are known as the coordinate axis. Analogous to it, the three mutually perpendicular lines in space define the three mutually perpendicular planes which in turn divide the space into eight parts known as octants and the lines are known as the coordinate axis. Let x dash ox comma y dash oy and z dash oz be three mutually perpendicular lines intersecting at O such that two of them y dash oy and z dash oz lie in the plane of the paper and the third x dash ox is perpendicular to the plane of the paper. Let O be the origin and the lines x dash ox comma y dash oy and z dash oz be x axis comma y axis and z axis respectively. These three lines are also called the rectangular axis of coordinates. The planes containing the lines x dash ox comma y dash oy and z dash oz in pairs determine three mutually perpendicular planes x o y comma y o z and z o x or simply x y y z and z x which are called rectangular coordinate planes. Now, let P be a point in space. Through P draw three planes parallel to the coordinate planes to meet the axis in A, comma B and C respectively. Let OA be equal to X, OB equal to Y and OC be equal to Z. These three real numbers taken in this order determined by the point P are called the coordinates of the point P as they are measured along positive or negative directions of the coordinate axis. 
you can see on your monitor that we have got this is x axis, this is y axis and this is z axis perpendicular to both x and y. Here we are having points A, B, C and A dash, C dash and B dash respectively with O as the origin. Conversely, given an ordered triad x, y, z of real numbers, we can always find the point whose coordinates are x, y, z in the following manner. First, measure OA, OB and OC along x axis, y axis and z axis respectively. Secondly, through the points A, B and C, draw planes parallel to the coordinate planes Y, O, Z, Z, O, X and X, O, Y respectively. The point of intersection of these planes is the required point P. Now let us study about the signs of coordinates of a point. To determine the signs of the coordinates of a point in a three dimensional space, we follow the sign convention analogous to the sign convention in two dimensional geometry. That all distances measured along or parallel to OX, OY and OZ will be positive and distances measured along or parallel to OX dash, comma OY dash and OZ dash will be negative. As discussed earlier, the three mutually perpendicular lines X dash OX, comma Y dash OY and Z dash OZ determine three mutually perpendicular coordinate planes which in turn divide the space into eight compartments known as octants. The octant having OX, OY and OZ as its edges are denoted by OX dash YZ, comma OXY dash Z, comma OX dash Y dash Z, comma OXYZ dash, comma OX dash YZ dash, comma OXY dash Z dash, comma O x dash y dash z dash. The signs of the coordinates of a point depend upon the octant in which it lies. Let P be a point and let A, B, C be the feet of the perpendiculars drawn from point P on x dash o x, y dash o y and z dash OZ respectively. If P lies in octant OXYZ, then clearly ABC lie on OX, OY and OZ respectively. Therefore, by our sign convention OA, OB and OC are positive. Thus, all the three coordinates of P are positive. If P lies in octant OX dash YZ, then AB and C lie on OX dash OY and OZ respectively. Therefore, X coordinate of P is negative and Y and Z coordinates are positive. The following table here shows the signs of coordinates of points in various octants. Look here, we have got for example octant OXYZ. The coordinates of X, Y and Z are all positive. In the next octant OX dash YZ, we can see X coordinate is negative whereas Y and Z coordinates are positive. Coming to the next octant OXY dash Z, we can see that X and Z coordinates are positive and the coordinate of Y is negative.
in the octant O x dash y dash z, we can see the coordinates of x and y are negative and coordinate of z is positive. In the octant O x y z dash, we can see the coordinates of x and y are positive and coordinate of z is negative. Similarly, in the octant O x dash y z dash, we can see here that the coordinates of x and z are negative and the coordinate of y is positive. In the octant O x y dash z dash, similarly, we can see the coordinates of x are positive and coordinates of y and z are negative. Similarly, in the octant O x dash y dash z dash, we can find all the three coordinates of x, y and z are negative. We have an important remark to make here. If a point P lies in x, y plane, then by the definition of coordinates of a point, z coordinate of P is 0. Therefore, the coordinate of a point in x, y plane are of the form x, y, 0 and we take the equation of x, y plane as z is equal to 0. Similarly, the coordinates of any point in y, z and z, x plane are of the form 0, y, z and x, 0, z respectively and their equations may be taken as x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 respectively. If a point lies on the x axis, then its y and z coordinates are both 0. Therefore, the coordinates of a point on x axis are of the form x, 0, 0 and we may take the equation of x axis as y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. Similarly, the coordinates of a point on the y and z axis are of the form 0, y, 0 and 0, 0, z respectively and their equations may be taken as x is equal to 0, z is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 respectively. Here let us look at one example. If the coordinates of point P are a, b, c, then write down the coordinates of point a, b, c, d, e and f. Since the coordinates of P are a, b, c, therefore OA is equal to A, OB is equal to B and OC is equal to C. Now, A lies on OX such that OA is equal to A. So, the coordinates of A are A, 0, 0. Similarly, the coordinates of B and C are 0, B, 0 and 0, 0, C respectively. Since D lies in x, y plane such that O A is equal to A and A D is equal to O B is equal to B, so the coordinates of D are A, B, 0. Point E lies in y, z plane such that O B is equal to B and B E is equal to O C which is equal to C. So, the coordinates of E are 0, B, C. Similarly, coordinates of F are A, 0, C as it lies in X, Z plane. Let us look into one more example. Name the octants in which the following points lie. The points are 5, 2, 3. It lies in x, o, y, z plane. Same way, minus 5, 4, 
comma 3. It will lie in the octant x dash o y z. Similarly, another point here 4 comma minus 3 comma 5. It will lie in the octant x o y dash z and the point 7 4 minus 3 will lie in x o y z dash and the point minus 5 comma minus 4 comma 7 will lie in x dash o y dash z. The point minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 will lie in the octant x dash o y dash z dash. Similarly, the point 2 comma minus 5 comma minus 7 will lie in the octant x o y dash z dash and the point minus 7 comma 2 comma minus 5 will lie in the octant x dash o y z dash. One more example we will look into. Find the image of point minus 2 comma 3 comma 4 in the y z plane. Its image will be 2 comma 3 comma 4. Image of minus 5 comma 4 comma minus 3 in the x z plane will be minus 5 comma minus 4 comma minus 3. Similarly, the image of point 5 comma 2 comma minus 7 in the x y plane will be 5 comma 2 comma 7 and the image of point minus 5 comma 0 comma 3 in the x z plane will be minus 5 comma 0 comma 3 and the image of point minus 4 comma 0 comma 0 in the x y plane will be minus 4 comma 0 comma 0. So, students today we introduced ourselves to the three dimensional geometry. We also looked into the coordinate planes and also location of a point in three dimensional space. In the next session, we shall look into the distance formula and the section formula. Mm -hmm.